So about a year ago, I had the rare privilege of taking a trip around the world. I went to 13 countries in four continents. This was my trajectory. I started in Tokyo and then in Houston. I have a lot of stories. Yes, I did lose my luggage in the middle of it. Um, but instead of telling you what happened on my trip, I want to share with you what happened when I came back. I want to share with you what I brought back from my trip, the emotional souvenirs, if you will which are better than regular souvenirs. <sighs> All right, so there were two main ones. And the first one is that I learned to differentiate between sympathy and empathy. And I'll tell you how that happened. So I was sitting in a taxi in Mumbai, this one right here, and I was talking to the taxi driver, and I always talk to all the taxi drivers and talk to people about their lives, about what they liked in the country, what they didn't like. And the taxi driver, at one point, he turns to me and he goes, hey, how much does a taxi driver make in your country? And I didn't know. So I looked it up. I got the figure of $30,000 a year as an average. I converted it to rupees, and I showed him. His jaw dropped, and tears started coming down his face. And he kept saying, in my whole life, I'm never going to make that. My whole life, I'm never going to make that. So let me take a moment to touch on sympathy versus empathy, right? So sympathy is about feeling with. Empathy is about feeling into, right? Sympathy says, I feel for you. But empathy says, I feel what you're feeling. The key difference is that empathy is about being able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and experiencing life through their eyes. At that moment, seeing this man filled with tears, knowing that he would never have 
the same opportunities that I happened to have, I didn't feel for him. I felt what he was feeling. And that was a very powerful experience for me. And I tried to tap into that same level of empathy in my daily life. So that's lesson number one. The second thing that I learned is that I am extremely privileged. So I was born in the United States. I was raised in Venezuela, where most of my family is from. Yeah, all right. And, but simply because I was born in the United States, I have all sorts of privileges that most people do not have. My American passport just happens to give me easy access to most countries in the world. The US dollars in my bank account just happened to give me an amazing exchange rate pretty much anywhere. I didn't work for these things, I did not earn these things, and yet I benefit from them every single day. So let me tell you the story about Rose. So Rose is a 19-year-old woman that I met in Kenya. Uh, she's the one all the way to your right. And Rose was adopted from a village where she was supposed to be married off at 10 years old to become one of several brides slash child workers for a husband. And Rose, in a very soft-spoken, nonchalant way, told us stories about learning how to fight off hyenas when they came roaming at night, <laughs> about how she had to walk several miles in the blistering sun to go get water, and after a while, she just started running those miles back and forth, about how she only got by on one meal a day for most of her life about how most of her friends at 19 years old were already mothers to several children. It was hard not to feel the weight of my own privilege when talking to Rose. It would have been extremely silly for me to share some of my insignificant daily difficulties, <laughs> like how I sometimes have a really hard time figuring out something good to watch on Netflix. <laughs> I believe nothing makes you more aware of your own privilege than traveling to a less wealthy country and experiencing what life is there for people who live there. So I'm gonna leave you with this last thought. Over 50% 50 of Americans will never travel abroad. They will never leave the United States. And in a country that seems to be suffering from a deficit of empathy, I believe that travel can be the antidote. So, if you have the privilege of traveling abroad, don't just bring back a t-shirt. Take the opportunity to put yourself in somebody else's shoes, to bring back some emotional souvenirs, and please share them with us because we want to know, and most importantly, we need to know. And as a bonus, if you share it with me, I promise to give you a high five. Yeah. Thank you.